गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी हैव डॉक्टर पराग दीवान जी विदास एट आई एस एम आर यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर एंड एज वी नो दैट डॉक्टर पराग दीवान हैज को क्रिएटेड द यू पी के एस देहरादून विच इज़ वन ऑफ द टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज इन इंडिया एंड अर्लियर ही हैज़ अ वेरी डिस्टिंग्विज करियर विद आई मा देर इज अल इंडिया मैनेजमेंट एसोसिएशन एंड इट हैज़ बीन ऑलवेज in his nature that whatever he has done he has done with a lot of love and passion and dedication and he is the one who created the concept that uh, when the students are uh, in the campus then how many of them are like their educators and engaging with the students and also being very much committed about the roi part that if you invest certain money how much how many years you are able to get your return back and a very very innovative ways he has created association with the industry and uh, regional offices and different other places which he was sharing today um so i would like to ask two things with you sir one is that how the student should handle and they should approach at their placement that is one and secondly what institutions can do to create a nice ecosystem and culture uh, by which the placement become more of a end outcome and rather than you know somebody is putting lot of energy there so based on your great experience i'd like to hear your views on that sure thank you professor gupta to invite me at ihmr jaipur and indeed you have posed two very interesting questions let me handle each of the questions separately Let's, let, let's first look at into what student should do towards his or her own placements. You know, it's very important for students if he is placement minded. Though these days the generations are changing, and many students want to be job givers, not job seekers. And there has been a lot of emphasis on entrepreneurism, how to have startups on campus. But leave that aside. There is still a vast majority of students. Let's say. 80 90% of our reach of our graduating classes who do seek job and also come from families where it's an economic necessity for the child to be employed after graduation having said that many students have either too much high ideas about their own capabilities or sometimes the other way around also they feel that they are not hugely capable and they look towards them not in a great light so one of the important thing in first two formative years is to make the expectation management right of the student you know whether student comes from what background there are deficiencies in background maybe some may be very intelligent very very diligent student but can't speak english properly or can't dress properly or don't have etiquette because they come from backgrounds rural backgrounds vernacular schools so first two years must be a great effort must be placed on development of institution uh, of a individual in terms of these kind of abilities abilities to dress well speak well be confident have a poise and which can be trained especially in a four year program or at least in a three year program which can be trained second part is to understand where his passions and strengths lie and let's say if he wants to work uh, just take an example from an IT industry if he wants to work in the cutting edge of artificial intelligence then in the third and fourth year of his engineering program what kind of courses he is taking what kind of projects he is doing what kind of internship he or she is going so it's all package you know from personality development to expectation management to building the core with base and core strength projects around them internships around them to lead to the end goal you can't be seeking a high end uh, artificial intelligence job and then not prep yourself you have not taken a even a single course in ai and think that you will end up there so it doesn't work out there so that is a package which we must and uh, good schools every year through their career services department emphasize on the student first two years into basic persona next two years in these strong groundings into the core domain where he or she is excited about and third part is relevant projects and internships because at the end job interviews last maximum 10 to 15 minutes if he has done great projects and great internships most conversations are surrounding there and if he is able to explain that very well nine times out of 10 he gets selected so that's towards the student aspect 
it's need to be managed these days there are many interesting uh, international psycho cognitive based tests which can also clear these doubts of students so that's one part uh, coming to your second question uh, professor gupta regarding what should an institution do to my mind i've always believed that each institution should be obsessive about one solid outcome which is facing its students before they leave the campus and to do that they need to do multiple things a they should of course have a very strong career services department manned by very experienced and seasoned people who will go out and get companies but getting company is easier than actual conversion of the candidates so that we have already discussed earlier that candidate should be that properly second part is that you could enter into you find depending on what is your core strength of the institution find a set of core recruiters that i must have these 10 20 30 companies on my campus every every year based on that you can you know enter into a specialized agreements with them that you will give them preferential rights will get to see your students you will get to see your best talent first and of course then they also promise in return that they pay the best salaries they give best of the students also it's very important that uh, multiple other things touch points with industry be done it's very important to create something called uh, industry participation not just in the placement process but also in academics process and some institutions have 50% of their academic council constituting of uh, industry people or they have very strong consultative committees when they are designing the curriculum and other things in terms of how curriculum is industry relevant then internships then projects industry based projects are really very important compact so if you put all that together you create an ecosystem and ecosystem should not be built just on the campus some of these people should be based in multiple locations where there is a high density of such industry where you are catering for and uh, that entire mechanism needs to be built and once that's built it is for lasting value i think this is a very uh, good point you have shared and uh, but I think that how this whole thing is implemented, because you see that uh, getting people into the academic council, and sometimes you know just uh, people may have some you know big names just for the decoration sake, but you know those people do not really go into the detail, like you know really going through the course outcome and you know the what is the pedagogy they are taking and so on. So sometimes we see that the instead of the big names, if you are uh, having somebody who is uh, not so high on the seniority but how they are able to give time in terms of the right uh, kind of curriculum and also giving support in terms of the life projects in terms of the mentoring support i think that makes an important part and then you shared about those uh, different concentration places and how uh, you have to make your presence there correct and then organizing you know uh, certain seminars and panel discussions hr conclave as for the new the industry correct but you know these also have been now happening for a long time now so i would like to know what is the next kind of innovations in this field interesting very interesting some of the innovations that that's happening is you know one is <coughs> intermittent uh, work uh, spaces and intermittent study periods Mm-hmm. and some schools have come into a system of education which is called quarter based we had trimesters we had semesters now there are quarters quarters consist of just 12 weeks so 12 week of study 12 week of internship which also will get them requisite credits come back so just to gets to see them multiple times that's one of the innovations that that, that is happening uh, in terms of some of these schools who are experimenting with this thing. second uh, innovation is that uh, innovation of virtual internships and uh, virtual members of with so many collaborative uh, tools uh, that are in place uh, collaborative working tools that is i'm talking about so a lot of uh, students today 
work as a virtual intern in very large companies in actual projects where they interact with their team manager and then team managers judge and most often they get what is called the pre-placement offers. Mm. So some of these new technologically aided virtualized versions of the old-fashioned internships already are understanding how is his team work, how does he gel with the rest of the team and so on and so forth. So there are some new ideas that are emerging. I'm sure as technology develops many more would be in the offering. Okay, and I um, I think it is very nicely you have shared this and uh, I'd like to also add one thing here that many times the students are saying that okay, I want to work in big, big corporate or in this big consulting company. But I think the kind of support they get there and also the kind of, you know, the project they get is sometimes much more important mm -hmm. as compared to just, you know, going to a big brand and you are not having uh, enough work to do or nobody is there to mentor you. So that also, I think the student should keep Absolutely. in mind. Absolutely, that, that is very important. You know, Sometimes the quality of work matters more in your formative years than the brand that you are associated with. Yeah, yeah. So both you know the brand and the learning is also should be given much more importance. Yeah, absolutely. And what you really wish to do, rather than you know, oh, I want to go in this company because my senior has gone there. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Absolutely. What you feel strongly about it, what you feel is your faith, and that is where you should absolutely. go there. And one more thing I want to add here that what is that external thing like you tell okay you are smartly dressed or you have this accent and so on. Second is that you know who you are mm -hmm. and develop a sense of self-awareness. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And that will help you a lot in handling any situation like you see this guy uh, in 3 lift, this Raju Rastogi how he goes in the interview. And he tells you know you have done this and this, he said yes I, I have done this. He said, you are too, uh, what he says, you are too open, yeah. we do not need such talent. He says, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. I got this after so much of mm -hmm. realization. Correct. Now you keep your job and I am going. He said, how salary is <laughs> So, we also need to create yeah, uh, absolutely. that kind of thing. Absolutely. The self-actualization, self-motivation, what you actually want to do, how you are. And sometimes these days things are also changing, you know, a lot of em employers don't feel the un unconventional employees to be a hindrance anymore. You know, they think that this brings a diversity, it brings some, something to you know, challenge the preconceived notions that Next. exist in the, in the organization. So it's, very it's, nice. Because the bigger innovations will come from the domain of, you know, that they don't know that they don't know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's why the new discoveries, new inventions mm -hmm. would happen. So, thank you so much. Thank uh, you, Dr. it's a pleasure to have conversation with you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.